Hi, I'm Senator Sue Serino, and I'm here with Leah Casarino, Director of the Cancer Services Program of the Hudson Valley. I really want to sit down with Leah today to provide residents with information about local resources and how they can get access to important health screenings. We are very fortunate here in New York State to be home to some amazing resources to ensure that those who need access to screening and care can get it. Leah, can you introduce yourself and talk about the services that the Cancer Services Program of the Hudson Valley provides? Thank you, Senator. Appreciate the opportunity to, to uh, promote the program, too, because it's a very important public health program. Um, I'm currently the director of it, and the Cancer Services Program is a state-funded program that um, has a Cancer Services Program serving every county in the state. I am representing the Cancer Services Program of the Hudson Valley, and we uh, currently provide services to six counties in the area, uh, which are uh, Dutchess, um, Putnam, Westchester, Rockland, Sullivan, and Ulster counties. And um, so we have been uh, around for quite a while, and uh, we provide services, cancer screening services, to people who are uninsured. That's great. And how did you get involved with the Cancer Services Program? Well, uh, many years ago, I was the director. There used to be an individual cancer services program in each of the counties. And uh, many years ago, I was the director of the one in Ulster County. And they then kind of like many organizations consolidated, became more regionalized. And when this opportunity became available, I, uh, I jumped at the, you know, at it because I really love this program. It's so rewarding to be able to help people and provide this service to people who might not normally get, get these services. Can you share a little bit of the background of the program and how it originally started in the first place? Uh, well, this program has been around for a, a little over 20 years now, and there is actually a state program called the Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program, and this is where the CDC provides monies to all states to provide breast and cervical cancer screenings to women who are uninsured. And um, in some states, such as in New York, we also do colorectal cancer screenings. And so this is a, a part of that program plus. So no matter where you go in the country, you can access these kinds of services. And here in New York, we, we call it the Cancer Services Program, although it's called different names in different states. This really is a great program. Who is eligible for screenings through the Cancer Services Program? Well, um, the eligibility is we serve women ages 40 and older mm -hmm. and men ages 50 and older. You have to be a New York State resident, and for us, you have to live in one of the counties that we serve, and it has to be your primary residence. Um, you have to be either uninsured, so you have no health insurance or no Medicaid, no Medicare, nothing like that, or you are underinsured, in which case you may have insurance that may not pay for the service that you need or has a very high deductible of copay, in which we can assist with that too. And we also have some income guidelines, which are actually rather generous. They're, you know, the federal government issues federal poverty guidelines, but add 250% more to that income, and that's what our guidelines are. So they're quite generous. How would people find out if they are eligible? Well, that's very easy. They can call our office. We have a toll-free line, 855-277-4482. And um, you will speak to one of our intake specialists who can then determine your eligibility. And if you meet the basic eligibility, which I just described, they can then go on to determine which services you're eligible to get right now. And then we can link you up with one of our providers. We have a network of healthcare providers throughout the six counties we serve who have agreed to, uh, you know, provide services to our clients. And that's where we send you to get those services. What kind of advice do you have for men or women who may be putting off a health screening now? I certainly understand that people are in the age of COVID. They're certainly nervous about these things, but they also need to uh, realize the extreme measures that are being taken to ensure their safety when they do go. 
You know, um, they're spacing out appointments between healthcare provider offices, so they're not having as many people come at once. You're not seated next to each other in the in the waiting room. They're constantly cleaning out, you know, after every patient. Uh, they they check you in terms of you know your if you have a fever, are you having any symptoms, all those kinds of things. So they're making it very safe to be able to go in and get these screenings because, as you pointed out, you know, putting that off can make a big difference, you know, in your health. And the point about doing screenings is to keep them up regularly. So if anything is detected, it's detected early when it's more easy to treat, it's less invasive for the patient, and it's also less costly too. Those points are so true. I know with me, even if I waited another couple of weeks, it'd be a totally different story. Is there any other information you'd like to add today? When someone does come through our program too, and they have a screening and it is abnormal, so they have to go on for additional diagnostic services, we cover those too, including, for example, if we're talking about breast, uh, like going for a breast biopsy if they need that, et cetera. Our program goes all the way from the screening all the way to the point of diagnosis, to either rule in or rule out cancer. If a person does get a cancer diagnosis, there is another program that's a, it's a great program called the Medicaid Cancer Treatment Program. Our staff is trained to enroll people in that program if they're eligible, and that will pay for their cancer treatments. And it covers not only breast, cervical, and colorectal cancer, but also um, prostate cancer treatment too. So even if someone did not come through our program, but maybe had insurance and lost it, maybe they lost their job through COVID. We had, an, we had a situation like that where someone was diagnosed and lost their health insurance. And, we, and they were currently undergoing cancer treatment. We were able to enroll them in this program so they could continue their treatment. So it's a kind of full circle kind of service. So don't let the fear of COVID or the fear of the cost put you off from getting the cancer screenings. That is such important information, Leah. I think for people that happens in life, they lose their insurance or maybe they don't have enough, but just to know that that part of it is out of the equation, it's already stressful enough to go through these treatments. I can't thank you enough, Leah, for taking the time to sit down with us and for all that you do for men and women here in our community and beyond.